Hello guys, my name is Patrick Fairing and I'm in this quick tip from CG Touch Plus. I'm going to show you how to uh, mix materials in Blender and apply them to your objects. And there are so many uses of this technique and if you don't know it, I really recommend learning it because you can use it in so many different projects and then for so many uses. So there are two ways you can do it. this in um, Blender. The first one is by adding uh, a couple of materials for objects and assigning them to different faces. So if I have, I want to have one object in this face and then I can add new and assign and I can assign other materials to other faces. But that's really the real real basic way and doesn't give you much control at all. And the way I'm going to show you is how to do that using masks um, like textures or other materials in the node editor, which is uh, a little more advanced, but it gives you a lot of more control. And you can combine that with texture paint or vertex paint, and really gives you a lot more control than the regular one. So this is the scene I've set up. I have this box, and I have a little sphere that we're going to use for for this example and we have our monkey here which is gonna just give some more to the scene I'm going to add a reflective uh, material to this one so then we can use the object to see that better and I now have a camera and just a basic um, standard default lamp with just the regular settings so what we're going to do just add quickly to materials as some materials for this other object just make this one red and just call this one room and just leave this one with the default settings so now the cool stuff begins now we want to have two materials we want to have one blue and um, not reflective not much peculiarity and such and we want to have one reflective uh, material and we want to mix those by um, using a cloud texture so on the white parts there will be blue and on the black parts there will be the reflective uh, material so first we have to have a material that we will use for a node setup which will be assigned to this object and that will be the node material, I'll call that one just have to call it now, but uh, just for just for information purposes. And now we add a new one back around here and make this single user. Call this one blue for blue material. Add a new one, single user. Call this one ref for reflected material. And that's it. And let's go and add change the settings here. Let's make it blue, like so. Um, just turn down the intensity of specularity like so just down uh, smooth out a bit so we can really see the difference on this too just leave the other settings as this it's just work fine now then we're gonna add a reflective material add its dark gray like so we're gonna go down enable mirror and just turn up the reflect reflectivity just something like 0.2 or something it ain't that mm, that important so just the other settings could be so you can change them if you want to but it works fine for us just adding a blend shader turn up the hardness a bit maybe 200 and then intensity a bit up like so that should work fine so now that we have two materials we can just cl um, close the tools panel by T and just drag up here to split the view and go into the node editor so now we want to have the material nodes um, enable so if you have them on composite node just click here and we want to use nodes make sure you have the node material selected and first um, we want to just delete and the blue and ref material 
materials from this uh, object so it won't show up so just unlink this data block and it won't change the it won't change the material from the system just removing it from from our object like so let's go back to node and hold on control and press the up arrow just to expand view and here are our nodes so you have one output node, output node which is the final material and then you input your um, your start materials here and that will form that one so let's just um, get rid of this uh, link here just hold on control and press down the left mouse button and drag over here to cut that one and we can just find our uh, blue material there you go and now I want to add our reflective materials as well so just shift A and in input and want to add a material again control and left click and drag to get rid of that one and we want to have our reflective material there you go and next up we want to mix these ones together because we can't just chop them in both of them here because all inputs can only have one one uh, connected uh, one link and then let's just um, shift add add a color and mix node and as you would will with the uh, object you can just uh, click on it to select it and just G to grab it and you can move it around so let's just add add them like so there you go and just make sure I mix that and connect it there and let's just take a render or scene and there you can see we have mixed our two materials but this is not usually the way you want to do it because we just have a blue reflective material and that's because we have um, just uh, mixed them 50 by 50 on this fact value here let's just expand that one a bit and we might want to add in for example a clothes texture so we can get some more interesting results just control upper again to go back to the original uh, layout and let's go into the node menu go to textures and new and we can call this one mask and clouds just make this one uh, black and the other one should be fine just for now just make sure mapping is uh, sphere because you have our sphere, ob sphere object and uh, now again just delete it so it won't show up on uh, our material here and let's go into the node editor again shift a add a input and texture and just delete that one again and let's choose our mask texture and there we have that one let's connect it there again and make another render and there you go but what we might want is to have more a clear line so this one is not really the thing I want I want uh, reflective material to stand a bit more out the blue to stand more out and not that kind of mix so let's just um, go to render slot 2 and press escape to go back here and when we render again we will render at render slot 2 and uh, then we can see our differences so let's just add in a RGB node color RGB curves and we're gonna we just gonna um, connect it here and we're gonna add in and uh, a little bit more of contrast here so let's just make an S shaped uh, curve to get some more contrast like so that should work you can see here already that we have a much nicer result and just F12 and there you can see this, uh, this is more of the thing that I want so let's just go back to slot 1 just to see the difference there you go there's more of a more of the mix that we saw earlier 
but when we go to slot 2 and added a more contrast this is more the thing that I was looking for and this technique you can use it for things such as chip paint or something a lot of uses and as I said earlier today earlier in this tutorial you can uh, for example paint in something in the um, texture paint and then you can use that one as a mask instead of a generated texture and then you can get some really cool effects and it really has a lot of uh, a lot of uses and that concludes this tutorial and I hope you learned something and see you around